Merry Christmas everybody! I'm Keisha from What You Need to Know Right and today from Santa I got this Discovery Crystal Growing Kit. I'm going to show you how to grow your own crystals and the signs behind them. Okay, let's start unboxing! Okay, so here's the instruction manual. Let's see the contents we got. So, first stop is a mixing tray. Next are these crystal growing powders. They come in cyan, white, and orange. Then, there is also these seed growing kits. Make sure not to put them into dirt. They aren't real seeds. Then, there are two popsicle sticks to mix. Then, a magnifying glass. And for, for a bonus, it also comes with these cool crystal, uh, with these with a cool crystal poster. First up, you need to pour in three fourths of the tray filled with hot boiling water. Make sure to do this under HEP with adult supervision. The next step we're supposed to do is cut the top of this and pour the full content in, into each tray. That means you have to pull. Then, we stir it until it's dissolved. Okay, um, December 26th, um, we can see that there is some slight crystal growth on the seeds. So, we might get bigger results in like five more days. Okay, so this is December 27th, also the second day of the crystal growing. And um, we see some small growth, but we see more growth on the blue one than normal. This is day seven for the final results of the crystals. First, let's see orange. There is some crystal growth on orange, you can also see some crystals growing at the bottom. Then there is white, which has one crystal that is protruding above the water. And then there's blue, which is practically colonizing everything, even trying to go on to white. And it's actually so weird. You can act, it's been colonizing so much. You can see that there are some crystals over here and over here. And here is a quick up view of the crystals wow look at these beautiful crystals they look just like icicles let's talk about the science behind this first there is a concept called solubility this is the amount of this is the amount of a substance that can go into say a liquid if we increase the temperature the solubility also increases but when we decrease the temperature the solubility of the liquid will also decrease. So the reason that the reason we put in a whole a lot of hot water is what so it can so there's a really high solubility and it can take in that much powder. But when the temperature decreases, it it'll slowly start um, the water will start pushing the molecules away, forming it into the crystals, and then the crystal seeds. Is so the crystals will have something to grow on instead of 
just staying on the rims of of the tray. So we're wrapping up. Let while we're wrapping up, let's do a quick overview. We learned what is solubility, how crystals are formed, and what a seed crystal does. And make sure, and if you have any questions, make sure to comment down below in the comment section. And like, subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications to make so you'd be notified whenever I make a new video. That's it. That's it, everybody. That's Keshav signing out.